This week's parasha, we learn about the mitzvah of building the Mishkan, of building all the all the accessories, all the kalim of the Mishkan, the Aran, the Shulchan, the Mizbeach, the Menorah. And interesting to note that on every every time it says you must make va'asisa, you must make in singular form. Va'asisa is you to one person. There's two exceptions. There's the Aran, where the Torah was placed, and the Luchas, and there's the Mishkan itself. Va'asuli Mishkan says the says the says the Torah at the beginning of our parasha. You, plural form va'asu. You you will make the and and va'asu aroin, and you will make the 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 ark, the the box which will hold the the Torah itself. So we know that every Jew is required to build his own home, his own Mishkan, be it his home where he lives with his family, be it his home that he creates, his society that he creates, it must be a place where Hashras HaShchina, where that's possible for the Shechina to exist within the framework that he builds. That's for also, that's for every Jew. That's not Vyasisa, that's not a one-time commandment to Moshe Rabbein, to Betzal, who built the Mishkan. This is a commandment to everyone of Klai Yisrael. Same thing says Rav Hirsch. Is, is, is applicable to the Aron, to the Ark, which held the Luchas and the Torah. And he, he, he gives a, a very, very detailed explanation of every word in the parasha of the Aron and how it really affects every single person. It wasn't a one-time commandment, it's a commandment that's ongoing for every Jew to make himself into an Aron, into a box that can hold the Torah, a place that can guard the Torah, that can, that can last through the millennia. And we'll just take one example that Rav Hirsch gives. We know that it says in the Torah that it should be, the, the box should be made out of wood, but in the inside and the outside should be gold. And Chazal explained that there are actually three boxes, one inside the other, three aroins. The outside one was gold, the inside one was gold, and the middle was wood. Wood, says Rav Hirsch, symbolizes growth, symbolizes, symbolizes individuality. Every person grows in his way, gives his own fruits of, 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 of the tree. And the gold is a metal. A metal doesn't change, it doesn't grow, it doesn't get bigger, it doesn't get smaller. Gold is created the way it is. It is forever and ever. That's, that's, that's the nature of gold. Says this symbolizes the two parts of our Torah, the two parts of our serving Hashem. The mitzvah's essay, the positive mitzvah's, the commandments, and the mitzvah's lace essay, all the negative commandments that we're not allowed to do, that we're not all the transgressions, transgressions that, we're not allowed to, that, we're, that we're not allowed to do. The gold symbolizes the lay sase, the part of the Torah that is that is that is that is stable and that's unmoving and that's and that's non-negotiable. You have a a, a a prohibition not to violate the Shabbos, not to eat non-kosher food. That's that is as it is and that never changes. And then we have the positive elements. A person uses his talents and his and and, and the and the uh, capabilities that Kadosh Baruch Hu blessed him with to grow and to thrive in his own way. That's like the tree, but the tree can only thrive if it's, if it's boundary on both sides, on the inside and on the outside, by the metal, by the loisases, by the prohibitions that he must not, never cross, the lines that he must never cross. If you're within those lines, then you can grow in an unbelievable way. And that is the aura, that is the box, that is the, 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 the ark that every person must create in himself in order that Kodesh Baruch Hu should place within him the Torah. The asu for every single Jew for all of time, not bounded by this generation or next generation. And that is what has kept Klai Yisrael alive through the millennia. The fact that we have the gold on either side, on the inside and the outside, that's the boundaries that we never cross. And we have the eighths, we have the wood which grows and we each develop our own personalities and our own talents to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu within that type of within that type of place, within that type of home, within that type of box, we can place the Torah that tells us what to do and what not to do. What an awesome responsibility, but also what a great privilege it is to be a Jew that holds within him the Torah. Good Shabbos.